everybody, I'm Tom and this is Shifter, a channel all about urban cycling and bike commuting. Welcome to all you new subscribers and if you like this video please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. It's really easy, just have to click the button. So one of the things that's holding back cities from getting more people on bikes is the threat of bike theft. Bike theft is a scourge in almost every city in the world. It's a serious problem that's not taken seriously enough in most places. But today I want to deal with one tiny aspect of bike theft and that's the part of bike theft that we can all take personal responsibility for and that's locking up our own bikes. I'm going to test a bunch of locks today for convenience. I want to find the easiest one to use because we humans are creatures of convenience and if it's easy to use we are more likely to use it. So there are a whole bunch of different kinds of locks and a whole bunch of different styles and brands but today I'm going to test sort of the four main types of lock. So yes, I'm making a video about bike locks, but I'm not going to test how strong the locks are for a couple of reasons. One is that lots of other people have already done this. Uh, and so what I've done actually, instead of testing each lock, is done a bunch of research that you can have access to. I made a spreadsheet of all the different kinds of locks reviewed by other publications, you know, places like The Wire Cutter and Bicycling Magazine, compiled them all into a spreadsheet and sort of came up with a ranking. So I've got the top brands and models of each type of lock, and I'll put that spreadsheet down below in a link for you to take a look at. And the second reason is I use all these locks and I did not want to destroy them. Those things are expensive. Okay, here are the four types of locks I'll be testing. First up is the U-Lock. You've seen these, they're kind of a universal bike lock, been around for years. This one has a cable attached to it, which we'll talk a bit about later. The brand of U-Lock that came out on top of most of my research was the Kryptonite New York. This is a Kryptonite, it's not a New York, but it's pretty close. The second type is the Chain Lock, pretty straightforward. It's a chain, this one's covered by fabric. I've got an Abus chain lock here, which came up pretty good in my rankings and my research, but not at the top. The one at the, the, one at the top was the hip lock gold, but this is a pretty good stand-in. Third up is the folding lock. One of these, it sort of folds up, up inside itself. And this is an Abus, but it's not the best of the Abus. The one that came up at the top of my research is the Abus Granite Plus X. And the last time is the classic cable lock. Now I was actually tempted to not test these at all because all of my research said they're, most of them are pretty junk. <laughs> and if you want to get your bike stolen, use a cable lock. But they're pretty popular still, so I thought I would try them out for convenience. This is a bell lock, not the best one. The best one, according to my research, was the light lock gold. So again, all the rankings will be in a spreadsheet that I'll link down below, but these are the ones we're going to test today. Okay, first up, I'm going to test this folding lock, and that's mostly because it's already attached to my bike, because this is the lock I've been using for years. And if you think that makes me biased towards this kind of lock, you might be right, but I can keep an open mind if you can, so just bear that in mind. So the nice thing about these locks is that they fold up nice and tight. I'd say these are not the most secure locks. Uh, they didn't come out at the top of any of my rankings, but they're not bad. They're sort of middle of the road as far as security goes, but they do fold up nice and easy. So the nice thing about this lock, and this is the reason I've been using it so long, is that it's conveniently, is that it's convenient. It's attached to the frame, it's got a little holder right here, and all I do is pop it in, and you're off and running. So it's pretty convenient that way. So I just pulled into my bike parking spot, pull the lock out, unlock it, it wraps it around, and there you go, it's pretty good. One of the drawbacks of this lock is that it's not that nimble. So I've had troubles a few times at sort of strange looking bike racks that aren't this convenient um, of getting this around the frame of the bike and the rack. If it's one of those racks that you put the front wheel in, this won't work because it won't reach from your frame all the way around the front. So that's kind of a drawback. And it doesn't lock up your wheels as well, just the frame. So it's got a couple of drawbacks, but it's actually pretty quick and easy to use. Back in there, and we're off. Okay, next up is the U-Lock. Uh, universally regarded as the most secure of the different types of bike lock. Pretty straightforward, you've got a key, goes in the bottom, this comes off, and you can lock this. This goes through your frame and onto the bike rack, and you've also, in some cases, got a cable that can wrap around your wheels if you've got some quick release wheels that you worry about being stolen. Isn't it crazy we live in a world where people where people will steal wheels off of a bike? Come on people. 
goes back in, turn the key, there you go. So the good thing about this is it's strong. Let's go give it a test on a rack. Take the lock apart. And then the, this, is the, uh, this is the important part. You put this around both the frame and the rack. And then if you've got a cable, the idea here is that you can also secure your wheels. It's time to be those wheel you so you can wrap, wrap it around there. Maybe even, if you've, if you've got the space, maybe even the back wheel. And then you, uh, then we lock it back up. So there you go. This is what's great about a U-lock is that you've got this really, really strong lock protecting the frame. And with the cable addition, you can also lock up your wheels. You don't need this cable, of course, but it is nice if you've got quick release wheels, which I don't here. But this is the key part. This is the heart of the system. As for getting around with a U-lock, well, most of them come with some kind of attachment that you can affix to the frame of your bike so that you can clamp it on there and just ride rather than having to put it in a backpack or a bag. It's fairly heavy, so you'd notice it wherever you ride with it. But as you can see, this one's on here. Uh, I just put it on pretty quickly. I need, to, I need to tighten it up so it's a bit more snug. But once it's on there, I, riding with it, I barely even noticed it. Um, this one goes on and off pretty easily. You just have to pull it on like that. The downside of it is with this cable, it takes a bit of work to sort of wrap it up nice and snug. It's got a little piece of Velcro strap so you can make sure it's not flapping around as you're riding. So it takes a minute to sort of get it nice and tight in there. And then you can uh, put it back on your clamp and you're good to go. Next up is the chain lock. It's pretty straightforward. There's a chain inside here. This one's got a cover on it so it doesn't scratch your bike. And also this uh, fabric does do a bit to increase the security of it because it's hard to get a saw through sometimes. Okay, when you arrive at your destination, just unlock the lock, wrap it around, and you're good to go. One of the nice things about the chain lock is that it's so flexible and you can contort it into all different sorts of shapes. Even if you have a weird rack, you can usually get the chain around it. The other nice thing is you can sometimes get it around your wheel as well. One of the tricky things I've found about chain locks over the years is that they're kind of hard to transport with you. Some of them come with a little attachment that you can affix the lock to your frame. Then you have to sort of wrap it up and it's not the most convenient thing to do. Um, if you have a basket or a bag or a pannier, something like that, you can easily throw it in. Chains are not too heavy. They're not, you know, depending on the chain, of course, it can be heavy, but this one's not too bad. Some of them are made to attach to your body. There's a couple of brands out there that are meant to go around your body. This one doesn't quite fit. I don't know if that's the lock's fault or my waist's fault. Um, I've seen some other people sort of put them around their bodies like this. But no, this one doesn't quite fit, fit for me that way either. I guess you could wrap it around your neck, but then who wants to ride around with a heavy chain around your neck? So as far as convenience of transportation goes, this one's not the easiest. I'll try a couple of options right now, just to see. Okay, last up is the venerable cable lock. You've probably seen these. These are for available at every two-bit hard hardware store in the world. The advantage of these is that they're the most inexpensive. They're also pretty light and they're really long. So that can give you a lot of versatility. Um, same kind of thing, got a key, unlock it, there you go, they stretch out and they coil right up again afterwards. The downside of these always is that they're the, by far the least secure. Uh, you know, a thief can get through this kind of cable really easily, just cut through them with a, a number of different ways. Often these locks are pretty cheap to make, so you can even just smash through them with a hammer sometimes. So they're definitely the least secure. But there are other advantages, so let's go lock it up and see. Okay, locking in a bike with a cable lock is super easy because of the length and flexibility of it. It's just stretches. You can wrap it around your, you can wrap it around your frame. You can usually get through a front tire or even maybe even a back tire as well. And there you go. It's sort of really easy to do. Now, getting around with a cable lock is a slightly different story. It's a bit like the chain lock in that it doesn't stack neatly on your bike. There's not a lot of cable locks that I've ever seen that come with attachments to affix it to your frame. So you're kind of stuck either again, throwing it in your bag or your basket. But the nice thing about these is because they're so long and flexible, there's lots of places you can put them. 
You could wrap it around your waist if you needed to. It looks a little ridiculous, but hey, you could do it. You could put it on your body. You could wrap it around parts of your frame. Um, so there's lots of options. Let me try wrapping it around the frame and go for a bit of a ride here. Okay, testing complete. Time for a verdict. What is the most convenient type of lock for you to use on your urban bike or bicycle commute? And it's kind of a tough one today. I know at the beginning I said I wasn't going to consider safety because I wanted to recommend each of the top brands and models in each of the categories, but it's hard to separate bike locks from safety. So I guess that I would say is if you have a really expensive bike or a bike that you are just madly in love with, you should probably go with the U-lock. Um, with the attachment to your frame, it's actually pretty convenient. The cable on it is a tad unruly. So if you can go without the cable, maybe uh, get rid of the quick release wheels and just lock your wheels into place with a bolt, then and just go with the U-lock, that's a pretty convenient option. So that's probably what I should recommend. That's what my head is saying. But my heart is coming back to the folding lock. This didn't, this was not the best lock in any of the categories. It's not the most convenient. It's not the most secure. It's not the lightest, it's not the heaviest. But that's kind of what I liked about it. It does, it does a lot of little things well. It folds up nice and easily. It's so easy just to tuck it into the pouch on my, that's attached to my frame. I leave it there all the time so I never have to think about it. And that's what's the key, I think, to using a bike lock is just making sure it's always on your bike and accessible. Those chain locks and the cable lock, if you have to put them in a bag, I think that's too much work. I think you're less likely to do it. You'll forget about it sometimes. The caveat, however, is that I combine this with my other bike theft pre prevention strategy, which is if you're riding around in the city a lot, don't ride a $5,000 bike. It pains me to say this, but I feel like if you ride a bike that's not a target for thieves, you're probably less likely to be a victim of theft. Sadly, get a good bike that you love that isn't gonna cost you an arm and a leg, and it's not gonna, and it's not gonna break your heart too much when it gets stolen. I know that's the sad reality of the world of bike theft that we live in. But that's the recommendation for me. A, a middle of the road lock combined with a beloved yet middle of the road bike is the combination that I'm gonna keep going with. But I hope the rest of the information in here was helpful to you to help you make a decision. Uh, and all of this really is, I've, I'm focused so much on convenience because I think the more convenient you can make it to ride your bike, the more likely you are to ride it. And the more you ride, the better your life will be. And the better, better our cities will be too. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.